Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the English with Neil Learn English podcast. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty good today. And in this episode, we're going to talk about color psychology. You ever wonder about the meaning of colors? Colors are all around us. You ever wonder why certain businesses use certain colors? Well, colors are very important because they usually invoke some type of emotion, right? So I'm going to go over the 10 basic colors and I'll give you some examples. And then you're going to see, ah, that's why that business uses this color. Or, ah, that's why, you know, when, when, when a certain holiday comes, we always see this color. It's because colors are very important. They bring about a lot of emotions inside of us. So let's get started with the first color. This is probably the most popular color in the entire world, and that is red. So red invokes this meaning of excitement or love, fire, passion, right? That's why during Valentine's Day, you always see the color red because it represents love or excitement, right? Like you see the McDonald's logo. It's yellow, but McDonald's is red because McDonald's wants people to be excited about their food. That's why they use this powerful color red. Okay. I think in China, I think that is a very um, popular color as well. Red. They use it for something. I forgot what it was. I think it's luck. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know red in China is, is a very uh, popular color. Okay. The next color is orange. The next color, the, this color orange represents energy or some some type of changing or transition. So when you think of autumn, right, it's getting cold in autumn. The, the seasons are now changing, right? You see autumn, you know, when you think about autumn leaves or the changing of seasons. We also use a lot of orange in America um, on job websites. So people, people that are looking for new jobs, they'll go to these job websites. And a lot of the times the, the website will be orange because it represents a changing of something, right? People leaving their old jobs and wanting something new. So that's when you see a lot of orange. Okay, the next color is yellow. The color yellow represents happiness, sunshine, optimism, right? We get, we, when we see yellow, we feel positive. We get hope about the future. So yellow is another very popular color. The next color is green. So when you see the color green, you know, it, it reminds us of health or growth or nature, right? When you, um, when people, you know, when you go to the grocery store and you see this organic section is usually there's a lot of green there, a lot of vegetables or when we talk about um, the earth, the environment, we see a lot of green colors because nature is green. So we automatically associate green with nature. OK, the next color is blue. Blue is interesting. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Um, and blue represents trust. And the lighter blue represents friendliness. That's why Facebook uses the color blue because it's a social. They want people to feel social when they're using um, Facebook. So this is my favorite color. This is also the color of, um, of my school logo is blue because I wanted... I wanted my school to represent trust. So I like the color blue. The next color is purple. Now, this is another powerful color. The color purple represents romance, wealth, and royalty. When we talk about kings and queens, right, people with high positions, you know, you usually see them wearing some kind of purple or some purple something purple in the background or when you see these luxury brands 
they use a lot of purple because it represents wealth or royalty. Okay, the next color, probably the most powerful, dominant color is black. Black represents power, professionalism, right? When you think about business, you see men wearing black suits, right? They, they try to, they, they, there's this image of power and importance and professionalism with black. Now, black also has another meaning, meaning something mysterious or evil, right? When you think about watching horror movies, scary movies, right? It's always, it's always dark and black. When you think of when you talk about, um, you know, witches and Harry Potter and things like that, it's mysterious. And these these characters wear a lot of black. So black is another popular color in the world. Now, the exact opposite of black is the color white. White represents purity and cleanliness. Right. That's why before people get married, the brides. They wear white dresses because they want to show that they're pure, that they're clean, right? So white's another another great color. The next color, this one's kind of a sad color. This color is gray. The color gray represents moodiness or something depressing, right? You know outside when it's gray outside, when there's a lot of clouds, you know, people tend to to not be, uh, you know, in the best mood. They have this gray look. Or they're having a gray day. And so gray represents moodiness or something depressing. Okay, and our last color, brown. Brown's an interesting color. Brown is kind of like green, where it represents like this earthy, earthy feel. Right, sometimes when you... um. When you go to a health food store, yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, green, but there's also a lot of brown. Brown represents, you know, the earth, the ground, you know, the wood, nature. Okay, you can also use the color brown for being reliable for something. So colors are very interesting. So the next time you see a commercial or an advertisement, just take a look at the colors. And then you'll start to see, oh, wow, okay, I know why this this company is using this color because they want to represent this kind of image. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in to the English with Neil podcast. I look forward to speaking with you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and talk to you soon. Peace.